Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about the question, what is an algorithm? So what's an algorithm? Well, an algorithm is just a step-by-step -step process for solving a problem. So for every program that you solve, you're actually coming up with an algorithm to solve it. That's the word for basically writing out that step-by-step -step problem solving process. So let's go and think all the way back to Carol, where we had this program called Super Cleanup Carol where the goal was to clean up all the tennis balls in the grid, but we don't know how big the grid is or where the tennis balls are. So here's an algorithm. This would be a zigzag algorithm uh, where Carol goes down one row and then up and then across the back row and then up and then across the next row and then up. This is our algorithm. This is our step-by-step -step process for how to solve this problem. And I can think about writing the pseudocode for this algorithm, uh, which would look something like this. While Carol has not hit the top, go down and clean up a row, go up to the next row, come back and clean up a row, go up to the next row. So what I've done is I've taken my idea, my step-by-step -step, uh, process for solving this problem, and I've written it down in English in a way that actually says, hey, here's how we can go and solve that. And here's another, uh, here's another sample. So this one would has Carol go back and forth. So down one row and then back and then up and then down one row and then back and then up, down one row, and then back, and then up. So this is similar, but it's a different algorithm. It's a different step-by-step -step process for solving this problem. If I was gonna write the pseudocode for that algorithm, it might look similar, but a little bit different. While Carol has not at the top, go down and clean up a row, come back to the start, go up to the next row. So we can still think about solving this problem, about what the code might look like, but, but stay at a higher level. So let's talk about what an algorithm might look like to find the maximum value in an array. So here's a sample array, and you can see I have picked out 80 as the maximum value. So on the left, we have the pseudocode, our description of a step-by-step -step process to solve this problem. So a description of our algorithm. So here's the pseudocode. We'll say that the max element is the first element in the list. And then for every number in the list, we'll get that current element. And if that current element is greater than the maximum, then set the maximum equal to the current element. And then return the maximum. So on the left we have the pseudocode, and on the right we have the very similar Java code. Um, public int find max on an int array called ARR. We'll say int max equals ARR zero. And then for int i equals zero, i is less than array dot length, i plus plus. Int cur equals ARR of i. If cur is greater than max, max equals cur. Return max. And so basically, you can see they look different. One is valid Java code, and one is just an English description. But at some level, they're the same. They're really the same, because they both are uh, descriptions of how to solve this problem. And the more and more you get comfortable actually programming Java, and then spending time running out the pseudocode, you'll see that oftentimes you're sort of just translating, taking one line of pseudocode and saying, okay, well, what's the official way to write that? in Java. So oftentimes the harder problem is coming up with that algorithm, coming up with that pseudocode, coming up with that step-by-step -step process. So what is pseudocode? Pseudocode is an informal high-level description of a computer program or algorithm. So pseudocode is a step-by-step -step description of our program in English, but trying to keep some of that structure of the program. So there's many, many types of algorithms. Uh, any method you write is an algorithm. There's some well-known algorithms as well, and in this unit we'll review some important searching and sorting algorithms. There's another topic uh, called algorithmic complexity and algorithmic analysis, and as we write more algorithms, work with larger programs, it's important to evaluate how efficient the algorithm is. How does it perform, um, you know, how does, how does the performance change as the inputs change? And you might hear something that an algorithm is big O of n or big O of log n, which describes its performance. And this topic um, of algorithmic complexity is beyond the scope of this AP computer science course, but you would learn about it in a later computer science class. We'll, in, we'll talk about some of these things super briefly, but the algorithmic analysis stuff is a little bit beyond this class.